What's going on? What's going on? Just grinding. You've been locked in, no doubt. What we learning today. <laughs> Yo, actually, I'll be real with you. Um, I'm creating a digital course. You know what I mean? So I've been working on that, you know. So the digital course should be ready pretty soon for green screening and um, more in-depth stuff. You know what I mean? So it should be cool. But I've been working with that. Um, I just wanted to get on here real quick to try to see what times people are online. Because every time I get online, it's hard to catch people sometimes. So I'm trying to experiment with the timing. That's all. Truthfully. You know what I mean? Can you hear me okay, though? I'll be dropping an R&B video I shot pretty soon um, in Unreal Engine. It's total, you know, it's an R&B joint. I built the whole, I built every set on it, you know, in 3D. So it's pretty dope. No doubt, no doubt. Anybody got, you know, while I'm on here, any questions we could chill on, talk about? You know what I mean? I want to create, eventually, I want to start creating some community challenges. You feel me? No doubt, no doubt. You know, like I said, I'm also a regular cinematographer, man. I just don't do Unreal Engine. I know the Unreal Engine is popping, but, you know, I'm out here working. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it, though. You know what I mean? That's the homie Nisi, and he hooked it up, you know? But I don't do videos with Daz Dillinger, Corrupt, you know what I mean? Outlaws. Um, a few other people, but um, it's what I do, man. I love it. But now I'm getting more into teaching. Yeah, I'm gonna get into metahumans like real soon. Um, I'm gonna be incorporating metahumans into some Unreal Engine stuff soon. Plus, I'm gonna do skits and stuff like that. But I'm going to definitely be getting more into metahumans. I've just been busy. But uh, I want to I wanna kind of utilize them like background or for storytelling. If you do it right, it could be dope. But if you do it wrong, it could be real cheesy. So you got to really be careful how you use them. No doubt, I appreciate it, Alameda. Yeah, you know, because people be out here trying to do some, like I said, I don't do gaming. I don't use Unreal Engine or whatever. Anything I do, I mean, for, as far as Unreal Engine, I don't do gaming with it. I don't create gaming. I treat Unreal Engine like a real spot. You know what I mean? Like a real thing, like if I was shooting an actual music video. So, you know what I mean? So, I try to teach people, you know, it's, it's just me, man. I'm not all crazy, fancy teacher, man. I just do what I do. I say what I say. This new course that I'm doing um, that is more in depth of how to set up a green screen, lighting, lighting techniques. I got my homeboy standing there. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, give you advice and stuff and show you in After Effects and all those. And it's just more, you know, concentrated a little more in depth on some stuff. Um, and I'm hoping, you know, people are going to cop it and uh, it helps them out. But I'm also going to be including a bonus inside of this, this course that you're going to be able to utilize. So the bonus is going to be dope. I appreciate it, my man. I really do. I use DaVinci too, you know. I stopped using Premiere a long time ago. 
You know, the only thing I miss about Premiere is the hyperlink to After Effects. But other than that, man, you know, but, you know, DaVinci Resolve, the only whack thing about DaVinci Resolve is that you don't got enough people that create things for it. You know, Premiere, everything's Premiere. And the transitions and all these other stuff, everything's for Premiere, man. Everybody creates third-party plugins for Premiere. You know what I mean? But DaVinci, it ain't as easy. They don't do it. But I still love DaVinci, and um, I'm always going to stick to DaVinci. You know what I mean? So uh, is this, uh, like I said, I'm trying to find out a cool time where people can come together and we can talk. You know what I mean? I really want to create like a community, man. It ain't about just me. You know what I mean? I want to create challenges. I want to, you know, do regular stuff, teach about cinematography, lighting. And, you know, I just, I don't know, man. We see what happens. You know what I mean? On this YouTube grind. I'm checking out Rode, the Rode Wireless Pro. They just sent me this out. You know what I mean? Good luck, Rode, if you see it. But they just sent me out. I'm testing out the Rode Wireless Pro. Even though I'm not using it now, I'm using this homeboy. But earlier I was using it. You know, it's not too bad either, man. And it has time code in it, so that's kind of dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da Vinci dope, man. Da Vinci dope. I mean, they they outbeat everybody all the time. The cameras is dope. I got my I got mine, but I do tend to use my Sony's more often than the Black Magic lately because I've been needing some better reliable autofocus for the type of stuff I've been shooting. You know what I mean? But I still use my Black Magic, but it's mostly for like I bring my my Black Magic in when I shoot like podcasts. When I do events, stuff like that, that I need another camera, I, sh I bring it with me. But right now, 95% of the time, I'm on the A7 IV or the FX30. Right now, I'm on the FX30. The, the course is going to be all about green screen. It ain't even about Unreal Engine. Because before you get to Unreal Engine, you really got to get your green screen right. People, people, people concentrate on jumping, and they can't jump. Really get your green screen on point. Once you learn your green screen skills and you understand lighting it the way you need to light it, so then when it goes to Unreal Engine, it's an easier process. You know what I'm saying? You can make it work better. But if your green screen off jump is whack, or ain't good enough, you're going to have problems in Unreal Engine, period, trying to make things blend right. You know what I mean? So you should really learn the basics of really knowing how you do your green screen, where to place the people, how to control the light on your green screen, how to control the light on your subject. All of that stuff matters. You know what I'm saying? People just so want to jump to the Unreal Engine. And I've been doing consultations now. You know what I'm saying? People could book me on my website and we do consultations, you know what I mean, one-on-one. -on -one. And I find that, you know, people be trying to jump and they can't jump. I always got to take them back and teach them certain things or show them certain things. And, you know, but there ain't no jumping on this, man. You got, It all works together. Your frame rate, your shutter speed, you know what I mean, the lens you choose, the, 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 you know, whether you're doing a wide angle or telephoto lens, you know what I'm saying? The lighting you choose, the diffuser you choose, how you diffuse it. All of these things are going to end up making or breaking your project, especially in Unreal Engine. You know what I mean? So that's why I won't just keep this channel an Unreal Engine channel. This channel is about cinematography and Unreal Engine, and we do product reviews that support those two things. You feel me? All 
uh, green screen versus LED walls. They have their, they have both, they both have their pros and cons. LED walls is easier as far as, um, you know, LED walls is harder when you got a, a whole body shot because to do a whole body shot, you can't have the, the, the walls can't be on the ground. So you got to create a set for the bot for the floor. And then in the background, you got to make sure it's blurry enough and it's, it's, it, it, it could create both problems. You know, green screen is harder because it's green screen. Um, LED walls is easier because you're already going to get that reflection, that light onto the person, like in the real world. So they both got their pros and cons. Um, me, LED walls just cost too much. Plus, they're not good for every scenario. Trust me. That's why they haven't taken over. You know, people still doing green screen, blue screen. It ain't took over. LED walls been here for a minute. They ain't took over yet. I mean, it's a great, great thing, but it's not the all and end, end all. You feel me? Using a diffused lens? What do you mean by a diffused lens? You, when you shoot your green screen, there should be no filters on your lens. Nothing. No ProMist filters. Nothing. It should just be the lens raw. And you should be shooting it, hopefully, you know, not too much of a depth of field. You don't want shallow depth of field too much. If you have to, it's fine. I mean, you, you'll get it as long as the green screen is lit correctly. But technically, you don't have to, you don't want to shoot in a real shallow depth of field. Not usually. Because it's going to be harder. And I talk about this in the course that I'm, I'm about to release pretty soon. But when you shoot in shallow depth of field, it's going to be harder to get the edges because the whole thing about green screen is to create a separation between the background and your subject. And when you shoot with a shallow depth of field, that blurry edge, it's not good, especially if you didn't shoot it correctly, then you're really going to have a problem. You know what I mean? Don't have anything on your, nothing on your, on your, on your camera, on your lens, man. Just let it be the lens period. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you did. You know what I mean? That's the worst thing. It's, I, I've done it before in the past. Trust me. I've been doing this for like 25 years, man. And, um, you know, both both green screen and the regular. And, yeah, you don't want that. But I'll be real with you. Outside of green screen, 90% of the time, I got a pro mist filter on my camera all the time on my lens. Promise filters stay on my lens all day. I love Promise filters for the highlight roll-offs, but they're not good for green screen. Not at all. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's something I can share. Let me see something. Trying to see if there's something I can share with y'all. I want that. I want that RB video to drop. He ain't dropped it yet, man. So what? Yo, this this number been calling me forever, and I will not answer it. I don't know who they are, but they better leave a voicemail. <laughs> you feel me? Leave a voicemail. If you calling me, leave a voicemail. I don't care who you are. I don't answer random calls. No, I don't use the symmetry. Should the green screen shot always be still? I mean... Everything you see for me is is the green screens on the cameras on 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 legs. You know they're on the tripod, still locked off. It's the easiest thing when you start getting into moving, moving for handheld doing green screen. Then you got to get into three D track, three D tracking, and that's a bit of a headache in Unreal Engine. I don't care what nobody say. Unreal Engine hasn't. I don't know. It's it's still a bit of a headache because again, Unreal Engine is ain't, ain't meant for that. You know what I mean? Um, if I was to really need 3D tracking, 
I mean, the easiest, I would just do it inside of uh, uh, After Effects. I would create my scene. Some, I, I'll figure it out, but I would create, I would do it in After Effects. Because After Effects, don't get it twisted. Unreal Engine is dope. But you could shoot, you could do some dope stuff in After Effects using 3D Element. You know what I mean? I love 3D Element from Video Copilot. So you know, I would if I had to do it, I would do it in there at the moment. But I'm trying to figure out a way inside of Unreal Engine to 3D track better. Now, your phone, you can use your phone. There's a, a app called Cam Track AR, and that does an amazing job. And they can bring that can bring it into Unreal Engine. I might show that pretty soon. And there's another app that's really dope called uh, Light Lightcraft or Lightjet, something like that. I forgot the name. <laughs> yeah, my friend, for real. I'm starting off with them in a matter. That's fantastic. No doubt, no doubt. I've been doing my tracking in Blender. Yeah. So when you do it in Blender and you bring it into Unreal, yeah, there you go. Jet set. Yeah, that that's I'm gonna try them pretty soon. They actually contacted me a while ago, but we never was able to connect. Um, but I'm gonna check them out pretty soon because they seem to be the best so far. I'm gonna be real with you. If you get the the pro package, the cinema package, or whatever it's called, but then you have to buy the extra uh, Axon for it, for your phone to transmit, be connected to your camera. But it, I think it's worth it if you're doing enough work um, for it to tell the data, you know, with the sensor of your camera. Um, but they Lightcraft or something like that, right? Yeah, Lightcraft just said, I think so far they're the best, they're the closest to being able to use your phone and then bring the data, it, it's recording it into your camera. Whatever way it's doing it, dog, it seems it seems like it's dope. So I'm gonna be trying them pretty soon. I'm gonna be trying them pretty soon. But if you really think about it, I mean, I've shot thousands of music videos, and I get sometimes you got to do the movements and stuff. I get it, and sometimes you can get away with it anyway inside of Unreal Engine, even with a locked off shot, doing it virtually. I mean, you're still limited. But for the most part, if you really look at videos, they ain't doing much. Not all the time. It's it's, it's pretty much the same angles all the time. Yeah, the Jet Set Cine. That's the one you want to get. I'm going to get at it. I've just been busy and, you know, it hasn't been a, too much of a priority. But pretty soon I'm going to get to it and see how it looks. Like I said, they hit me up. You know, and I just, we were never able to connect. Um, who knows? Maybe they wanted to sponsor me or something. I don't know. But um, I'm going to check them out eventually or try to figure another way out. Either way, I'm going to do something. <laughs> you feel me? I'm always trying to figure some easy way or easier way to do it. You know what I mean? trying to find something. No doubt. I got to look into Eximetry. I haven't really messed around with it. I've heard about it. Didn't really, you know. Didn't really stay looking at looking up looking it up or nothing like that. So I'm gonna check it out for sure. You know what I mean? I haven't looked. In, I can't even front. I haven't looked into it too much. I don't know that much about it. Yeah, virtual cameras are amazing. You know, like if you know how to, if you know what you're doing, and you can know how to keep your pacing up and your composition right, I'm telling you, you can make that virtual camera feel like it's going all over the place and it's still a 2D, the, the plane is 2D, the green screen, 
But if you know how to moon over that camera, man, come on, man. I'll check it out, but I'm an Unreal dude. I mean, do you use Xemetry with Unreal or Xemetry is on its own? You're going to make me have to look it up, but because I love, I ain't going to front as far as 3D. So far, Unreal has been the best for me. I'm glad you're learning, man. I'm, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to, you know, give people some knowledge that people ain't giving. Because you got people out here that are talking about Unreal Engine, even in filmmaking, some of these people, and they don't even shoot for real. They don't even know how to shoot. They haven't even shot music videos. They haven't shot. They just stay in their home, and then they're telling you stuff, but they're not really showing you experienced. I mean, I'm experienced. I understand, I understand this stuff. You know what I mean? And, and, and I, I think that's where the value is, is, is that, you know, I'm showing you and telling you what to do with the little tricks. You know, just like that last one I just dropped, the last one I just dropped, about uh, like the silhouette with the sun sky in the background. I just built a box and then made it more interesting by taking some squares and putting it in the room and creating the shadows. And it was even dope. I mean, you, these things are what, you know, you want to create shadow. Yeah. Yeah, the 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 course I'm doing is again about green screening. It's a little more in depth. Uh, I got a, my my boy in it with me and I'm just showing you, you know, where to place him properly, where not to place him, lighting techniques and all these types of things. And then we go into after effects, um stuff like that. Um I don't know the pricing point yet. It's not no. It's not gonna be ridiculous. It's probably gonna be somewhere between the thirty forty dollar range. Um, but I tell you this, um, I'm also gonna have a bonus feature. You know, that's gonna be pretty dope. I ain't talking about it yet, but it's gonna be a bonus feature in there that um, you're gonna like and enjoy a lot. Um, it's gonna be fun. So, you know, I'll see once it's done. I see what's up. It ain't a crazy long course. It's just giving you what you need. You don't need to create this big old course. I've been, mean, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna be keeping a hundred. I done drop. I done paid for a course before, and it's mad long. And it's like, but a lot of it I'm not gonna use. I try to give people what they need to really get going, to really you know start being able to do this and make some money off it if they're trying to make some money off it. Or if they're trying to just jump off their own project, I'm trying to get you ASAP in and out. You feel me? Ain't no reason to uh, extend it just to give you something that looks longer. I'm going to give it to you like it needs to be given quick. You know what I mean? Um, and and that's all I can say. That's That's my style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, the music video world, I'm telling you, man, I shot thousands of them from here to New York to California when I was living in Cali. And um, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say this. The music video world right now is a little weird. It's because... You got a lot of people who aren't really cinema cinematographers. You got more video people who just got into it. And there's a difference between us being a cinematographer and being a videographer. There is a difference. Trust me. You know, cinematography, you understand about light, shaping light, creating light, manipulating light, creating a scene that's going to create. It's just different. Videography, you know, videographer, you know, they take up a camera. It's clear. It's focused pretty much, and they're going to shoot it. But it's not going to look like what a cinematographer should look like. You know what I mean? More cinematic. And that's what I do, whether it be in Unreal or outside of Unreal. That's why people holler at me. Um, but it seems like nowadays 
if I took out all the transitional packs of this world, these videos would be whack. If I just deleted, if I could press a big old delete button right now, <laughs> just delete every transitional package that ever existed, and you just had to go on straight raw skill of where to place a camera and how to edit correctly and all of these things, yo, a lot of people would be whack. Trust me. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt, Doug D is all good. And Amita, no doubt, I appreciate it, man. I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to create more stuff that's going to just help you, though. You know what I mean? Like I said, and then once, see, I got to kind of like these courses, every course I drop, I'm going to drop another course eventually and another little, but every course going to have this little extra thing to it, a little bonus to it. And then eventually we're going to be able to create community challenges with these things that you've already gotten. So it's going to be dope. Yeah, yeah, cap cut and all that. I mean, I get it. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not a hater, my man. Like, do what you do. It is what it is. Get your money. If that's what it is, that's what it is. But don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? If I took out some of these transitions... A lot of people won't be doing nothing. They'd be like, ah, man, this video is whack. But, you know, because it's moving around or it's flashing or I did now it's dope. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Let's keep it 100, man. Let's keep it 100. And again, I'm not hating on you. Get your money. If that's what you do. That's what you do. But don't get it twisted and act like you could actually, you know, you could actually edit. Actually edit with no transitions. No transitions. Period. Just create a dope shot. You know how I know my... I could I could edit my... When I shoot a music video, I'm going to be... I'm going to keep it 100 with you. When I shoot a music video, I can literally blindfold myself and just cut it. And know it. it's going to be dope. You know why? Because every shot I shoot is a dope shot. So it's dope no matter what. See, when you're not sure of your shots, that's when you need to do all this other stuff. Every shot I shoot, I make sure it's dope or I delete. I've been doing this long enough to know when I look at a shot, nah, this ain't going to work. Let me cut this out. Stop. Let's stop. I got to redo this. Got to reframe it. Got to relight it. Let's do this something different. That's just the way it is. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm Mr. Everything. I'm just saying, like, you got to really know how to shoot and edit you know, transitions are there for a reason. And sometimes they're fun to have and it's cool. But when every video is a transition video, when is there any uniqueness in your, it's all the same thing, man. Come on now. Some of your career highlights and stuff. Yeah. I'm. A, I, you know what? We'll do, um, we'll do a live one day. Of all my old music, all, all my music videos that I've shot, and I, I'll show it and stuff like that. Not the whole thing, but we could do a live one day. You know what I'm saying? Because you know my history is also a music producer. I was once a music producer. I once was producing for the game. I was there for the whole G Unit beef. So that's my history in the past. I was just a music producer, and I was in LA, and I met with Game, and he liked what I had, so I became part of part of Black Wall Street back then. We talking about, you know, 2001, 2002, something like that. So my history is in music. So I've done that. I've had publishing deals, universal distribution, label deals. And so I started getting into filmmaking because I needed to get videos and people were fronting. So I said, let me see what I can do. And I had a, I had a knack for it. You know what I mean? Now I mostly do video. Um, but my sound and my engineering experience from being a music producer helps me with my sound design, mixing and mastering for certain things, my audio when I do recordings for movies or commercial or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's my life, man. And uh, I want to show everybody this stuff. I want to teach people what I know. I even can teach you music production stuff if I needed to. Um, I don't want to go too crazy on this channel, but... You know, that's my history. 
And I don't talk about that too much. You know, I try, man. I, I it, it we came out of necessity, but you know, like I do graphics as well, so I understand graphics. But I don't want to do graphics. I'm not great. I let my man do it. I got a homie. He's an amazing graphic artist. You know, I'm okay with it. I can hang if I had to. But as far as music production, yes, I was very good and still am. And video production, yes, I was blessed to be able to do both very well. And um, But um, I don't talk about the music stuff too much. But, you know, I'm just a dude out here, man, who love creating, man, from music to video, you know. No doubt. Appreciate y'all. With Unreal. Thank you, man. No doubt, man. No doubt. Unreal is definitely popping right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's definitely doing its thing. You know, I, I love Unreal Engine. But like I told y'all, man. Don't sleep on After Effects. I'm going to show you some stuff in After Effects. I'm going to start kind of spending some time in there, too, building sets in After Effects using Element 3D. If you don't know about Element 3D, start learning about it. It's dope, man. It can help you. Everything don't have to be unreal, and you can still make something dope. You feel me? Um, I'm trying to see. Let me see if I can show something here. My old green screen videos before Unreal Engine. I'm going to show you some green screen videos before Unreal Engine. Hold on. Hopefully, it's, it seems pretty good and I ain't too blurry. I mean, the quality. Let me see here. Even though, though, I still love Unreal, though. But After Effects is still dope. Do not sleep on After Effects. I'm trying to find one of my videos that I shot in After Effects that are green screen. They're not, I don't know, I probably don't, I don't think they're as good as, as my Unreal Engine. But I've actually gotten better, too, since then. Let me see here. This is the video here. This is with a rapper called John Connor. Now, John Connor, how I met John Connor, um, John Connor was a person I met at Dr. Dre's through Dr. Dre because he was signed to Dr. Dre and he is no longer signed to Dr. Dre. But if you look him up, if you look him up, John Connor, you'll see who he is. Um, and uh, yeah, he was one signed to Dr. Dre. So um, I'm going to share this video right here. See what y'all saying. I don't want to miss what y'all saying. That's true. Really, that's true. That's that's right. Andrew, man, that dude, the beast video copilot.net, man. That's no dope. No joke. Oh, no doubt, Louis Duvall. Dope. But this is the video I shot for John Connor. Ray. Now he's on his own. But this is the video I shot. This was an After Effects green screen, but this was, it says two years ago, but really this was probably about three years ago or something. Yeah. Okay, let's get down to business. The way I see it, can y'all hear that? Look, how the fuck y'all still rapping about money when life is fucked up? We done buried all my childhood legends in like one month. Just when I thought DMX leaving was on some wild shit. Then they told me Black Rob died. I'm like, how shit? Through my music realities in the forefront. My mama lost her childhood legends in like four months. Niggas still losing their home. Shit, we don't own much. Niggas don't apply for no loan. Shit, we ain't told much. Niggas. You know what I mean? Uh oh. The wifey hit me up. 
But wifey. So you have to hold on for a minute. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna show you something else too. Let me see. Let's see the other joint. Let me. I'm gonna show you this other joint. Man, why it brought me way back to the beginning though? All right, hold on. You know, I got some stuff that ain't never been released, man. But I can't release it. I wish I could, man. These dudes be tripping. I'm sure you've seen this one in Unreal Engine, though. Y'all might not have, but let me see. Yeah, I had, yeah, I had to have seen that one. Ha! Ah, answer before she get mad. Yeah. <laughs> I just texted her, though. I just texted her. You know what I mean? I just texted her. See, now this is a regular music video. I'm going to show you a regular music video, not green screen. This is a regular music video. All right. Hold on. About to wake some niggas up. This is a regular music video. Now this uh, this video, I'm telling you, uh, Black Magic 4K all day. Let me remember. Let me think. You know, it was it was the Black Magic 4K. This was the Black Magic 4K. It definitely was. Um, yes, everything you see was on. This is a real video, not on Real Engine. I did everything in green. I mean, I'm so used to talking about green screen. I did it handheld. And it's all in the same area. Like, literally, it was a small little basement. But because you know your lighting, you can make it look so different. You know what I mean? Like, this is all in the same little basement. I'm a bloke, when you, hit my sh you know, see, I got this light over here. Just hitting the background with the red. Then I got him separated. You know what I'm saying? And with the movements, and I put some overlays and then some little, you know what I'm saying? But it's not like... <laughs> People try to create with this vibe with transitions. There's no transitions in this. It's just me editing. I got some overlays on it. And and um that's it. You know what I'm saying? It's some good editing, some good music, and and, and you vibing. You know what I mean? Now this right here, let me go back over here. I told you I was gonna take your now right here, see. I got I got a. Uh, a blue light. I, I gelled it blue. Okay. It's coming out from outside in. I got fog in the room. Haze. That's important. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I got the, and you see it right here. This is like a 20 inch uh, softbox with a grid on it just to concentrate on him. And he's active. The music is active. You know what I mean? <laughs> And then in the back, if you see in the back here, that's my DIY YouTube, my DIY lights. You know what I mean? I got a way I teach you on my, I, I got an old t t DIY tutorial, how to create your own tube lights. You know what I mean? So that's my own DIY tube lights. And then the rest of his overlays. And I'm a man of my word. Editing, man. Yeah, I mean. 
There is no transitions in there. It's just editing, hand movements, and and some overlays that are moving around, you know, but it feel energetic, you know, and that's what you want. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want, my man. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to see if there's something else I can show y'all. This is a green screen video I shot a while ago. This is on After Effects. Okay, this is After Effects, all right? How many takes for that video? It's, it's not that much, I'm telling you. Um, My usual thing is whole body or most of the body. I always start off with the wide, all right? And then I go into a mid and close up. And then if I want any side, side views, I do a side view, whatever it is. And... Um, you know, not too crazy. You remember what lens was used here? Definitely for the wide angle, I use my trusty 12 millimeter Rokinon. 12 millimeter Rokinon, man. I've been using that forever, man. I love it. And it's got infinity focus, and the infinity focus is pretty dope. Um, so the wide is 12 millimeter, and the rest of those was probably. Um, Minota vintage lenses. You feel me? I got a lot of vintage lenses. And so, you know, that's what that's about. You know what I mean? Now, this video here, this is a green screen video in After Effects. Let me share it. It's cool because most youth can't regroup because they chasing highs. Treating lessons parents gave them like they straight up lies. Get off of Facebook, fool. They put your face in the book. Prison's big business, homie, and it's waiting for crooks. It ain't an act when I rap. I only write what I feel. But since the city got cameras, got my life on film. I ain't the one playing Hunger Games, killing the kids. Cause this ain't no game. Now, this, I, I'm going to be real with you. I kind of don't like it in a way. But. I did film this. Uh, I believe I filmed this with Camtrack AR. Okay. So that's where the movements are coming from. And I kept it all inside of After Effects. Being hungry on the mission to live. This life ain't right. But then this life I fight. I stay up most of the night trying to gain insight. Yeah, this is this is Camtrack AR joints. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to show you this other one. I'm gonna show you something I shot in Cam Track AR also. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's that one? Okay, I shot this in Cam Track AR with an iPhone 11. Okay, this is with an iPhone 11 green screen Cam Track AR. All right, it's a short skit. Was as simple as his. Shut up. Check it out. Boris. Good evening, Falco. How may I help you today? What you got for me today? I have 673 bounties available. I'll list them from most lethal to harmless. Let me have it. Bali Grimes. Kimazat's Delore. Flynn Gibson. Stop. What's he wanted for? Flynn Gibson has a bounty of 400,000. Gibson is wanted for murder. Send me all of his information, even his latest addresses. Also, upload training program number six, please. Affirmative. So that's Cam Track AR inside of Unreal, and I mean, I'm inside of After Effects. But there is a way to bring that into Unreal Engine. You know what I mean? So that's all, all, everything around him is fake, man. Everything, except for the table. The table and the gun is real. Other than, no, the gun ain't real. It's a, it's a, it's a movie gun. <laughs> that's cam track right there. That's all cam, cam track. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? 
So that's all Cam Track AR. So you know, there's there's ways to do this, man. Um, look at this. But even with a, and I shot that with an iPhone 11. You understand what that is? It's that's eight bit four two zero. It ain't no ten bit and all this. It's with an iPhone 11. I shot that green screen with Cam Track AR on my phone. This is the 15, but I had that iPhone 11. So it shows you if you understand. What you're doing, you can get a shot no matter what you're using. I don't care if it's the FX30 or my phone, straight up, or this phone. You feel me? Like this. You tell me this. Well, it's going to tell it. It's going to expose itself, man. I wish it wouldn't. I wish it wouldn't. This is another video, anyway. This is a music video right here. Check this out. This is a regular music video. This is not green screen. Just that pain. Y'all feel me? I'm twisting the dope, digging for a glimmer of hope. This heart breaks like a ship in the throat. I just give it a rope. In and out of passion with the same love. A lot of actions I'm ashamed of. Times we get manic. Yeah. Mind being panic. Need your love in an IV. I cry the Atlantic. Wow. Never walk away. All signs lead to addicts. Pain in my eyes. Didn't I see the damage? Love you to death. But brought death to the love. Cook one through the chest and cost less than a slug. Cause me without you is like we without fuel to light. We can piece it out. Speak about doing right. Ain't no point in fingers when we both to blame. Wow. Once in a life, love can let it go in vain. Can't stress it enough. He's trying to die in fear. See reflection of us. And I Baby, I'm I'm I feel like I'm dying. I can't walk around pretending I'm fine. Let's make it work. I ain't lying. And we done been here so many times. I got plans for the future, babe. I don't want to lose you, babe. Why you gotta be big pun, man? Why you gotta be big pun? All those big dudes gotta be big pun. Keep loving, same as they. I got pain in my soul. I know you do too. Let that bitterness go. Don't let it ruin you. Nah, I'm the reason for it all. You know, I don't remember what I shot this with. I believe I shot this with um the Black Magic also. I believe I shot that with the Black Magic also. Man, I got so many videos, dog. It's ridiculous, though. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. I'm going to show you one more. One more video. It ain't no fat joke. <laughs> it sure ain't, you know what I mean? This is a girl rapper. She's pretty dope. Take this, out. Let's take this video out. This is a regular music video, too. She see more. She be working with her hands. Yeah, that's the grown one. Grind for the cause. Hustle when it bends. Yeah, that's the grown one. Respect from a man. Mind don't expand. Yeah, that's the grown one. Stack up the bands. Spend it on the land. Yeah, Woman power. Woman pack light and keep your faith right. God first when we aim. It don't matter what the daylight. Dark gone come. So prepare in the daylight. Life move quick. It don't wait for your right time. Woman with your weight like. Burdens got you buried. Got you worried. This in like the vibe. Got you you know what I mean? Growing. She pretty good too. Growing, then move yeah. on. Let go of all your calluses. Learning to carry on. A grown woman work the balance. Emotions and weakest moments. I fail plenty like any. I pick it up. Keep it going. I rise late in the my hubby trust in my grind. I serve love of my life. Yeah. I pack a sword for the fight. I teach my kids how to live to love, give, and ignite. Wait, they talking real. We trying to own. What her real estate? You let us in the room. We gon' renovate. We plant heavy later. Harvest on the dinner plate. Wait, wait, wait. Don't watch us innovate. The real ones keep it Benny Frakes. Sis, never imitate. Got a village full of women with the faith that'll elevate. Grown woman business. We be repping with the heavyweight. Why you in your feelings? You could come with us. We be on a whole nother village. And on this level, we some whole lot of critics. We bring a lot of grown women with us. Respect me like a grown woman. You looking at a grown woman. And we be on a grown woman. You looking at a grown woman. They should want to be in our facility. For 
sanities and body credit therapy and golly deeds. I'll tell the truth for shame and peace and make every percent of me an enemy to anything against the king. Queen, girl, you better represent what excellence you grown. Yes, sure to do it. Hope you do right, that on your own. Say on the show. All right, let's cut that out. We don't want it. Uh, super wide. Um, I shoot usually. I put my aspect ratio in DaVinci 1920 by 800. Sometimes I do more or make it more squeezed, but usually 18, 1920 by 800. You know what I mean? And uh, that usually does the does what I want it to, you know, want it to look like. Um, let me show. I'm gonna show you one more. All right? Is it cool? Show you one more. Let me see here. <laughs> no doubt, my G. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. I want I want to I want this channel to be about that, man. Like some real cinematography, but it ain't about no bougie stuff. It's about really just trying to do some stuff, learn, grow. You know, if I could teach you something cool, you might be able to teach me something. You know what I mean? Real talk. It ain't about no egos or none of that, man. Acting. I love shooting movies and skits. You feel me? I love all of that. I'm trying to find it, and I'm, I'm I might not have it on my on my thing, and I should. Let me look for it. What was that? The greatest equipment is great. Have it, but uh, yeah, man, real talk. Hell yeah, man, that's real talk, man. Real talk. You know what I mean? I mean, people get caught up into their equipment too. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. I be trying to tell people, it's cool. Equipment is cool. It makes sometimes the things easier, but. It can also make you lazy if you're not careful because you don't want to do what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to, you know what? You don't learn what you should have learned because you took the quick way out. You know what I mean? Instead of really buckling down and learning all the aspects that you need to learn. You feel me? Like people be telling me, what should my first camera be? I'm like, go buy an old Canon. Go buy an old T2i. You know what I mean? Go buy the T2i and learn. It forces you to learn the relationship of FPS, of your frames per second, your ISO, and your shutter speed. It forces you to understand those three combinations that can create so much. You know what I mean? If you understand the relationship and the cause and effect between one and the other, it can do a lot for you. But nowadays, people are spoiled because you buy a Sony camera and it's already good in low lighting, so you don't need to learn about the true aspects of creating good low lighting without the Sony already having it built in. You feel me? All right, I'm going to show you a video I shot for Daz Dillinger or Snoop Dogg. Anybody know who Daz Dillinger is? Snoop Dogg, Dog Pound, you know what I mean? Classic, classic legends in the game. That's the homie Daz Dillinger. I shot a few for them. Check it out. This Daz Dillinger with Snoop Dogg and all of them. Unconditional love is we don't even know it because if a person stops stimulating us, we stop loving them. You're not interested in talking anymore. Goodbye, bye, bye. But that real love, that love that sometimes it's difficult to have, that's that love. love, love. I need you the most. This is clear, boy. Know you need me to share. Because the feelings are love the worst cold. Something we can be. My gangsta talk. She love my gangsta clothes. My gangsta pose. How you doing on the dance? Yeah, what's up? True. She keep it real. I keep it gangsta. Stay real. Stay true. Yeah, that's dope, man. I'm telling you. You know what's going to happen, though? I'm going to do I do all this. You know they don't let you monetize this stuff when you show 
a lot of people's music, you know, but I ain't tripping, but they don't let you monetize this stuff, man. They'd be like, nope, because you showing people's music, you know what I mean? But that was dope when I got that call that night. I got that call that night, like it was last minute. Yo, dads want to shoot a video, and boom, boom. And so I shot this whole video on the GH5S. I shot this whole video on the GH5S um, with the 12 millimeter Rokina. That's it. I didn't change no lenses. I only shot it with that only. You feel me? And um, that was fun. That was cool. You know what I mean? I got some more, but I'll I'll save them. You know what I mean? But uh, this was cool. So I know I should get online maybe around 2, 3 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? I'll be trying to get online about 5, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock sometimes. People probably be like, hell no, I'm tired. I'm going home and I'm chilling. But um, this is cool. Like I said, you know, I'm going to create this course. I'm supposed to be recording it right now. And I'm, I'm doing this right now. But, you know, I appreciate everybody that supports the channel. I really do, man. It's fun. You know what I mean? I like teaching. And it's cool when to interact with y'all because that's what makes me want to do it. Other than that, I, I, you know, what's the purpose? You feel me? You know what I mean? So we had over like 15,000 people. But even though it says 15,000, that don't mean those 15,000 people interact with you. You feel me? So I be liking when people interact. Um, So that's that, man. You know. I'm going to uh, get back to work, man. I got to finish this stuff up, man. No doubt. And I appreciate you. I hope everybody's, you know, uh, is on for this channel. You know, need to, your notifications. You know what I mean? Make sure your notifications is on. Some people be watching me. They ain't even subscribed. I'm like, why not subscribe? Just just, just hit the button. <laughs> it's, it's free. You know, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but... You know, it is what it is. You know, I do it for fun. And at the same time, it's a business. But this don't feed me. You know, like YouTube ain't feeding me like that. You know what I mean? I can't survive off YouTube. So anything I'm really doing for YouTube is really for fun. Um, and it's still slash some business, though. Keep it 100. You feel me? But I really want to try and give value. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt, Matthews, you know, stay connected, you know, stay, stay subscribed, be blessed, be safe. You know what I mean? It's crazy out there. It's crazy out there. You know what I mean? But anyway, you know, like I said, that Road Wireless Pro coming soon, interview, uh, product review. These things is pretty dope, I'm telling you. You know what I mean? I'm always looking for these because, like I said, I'll be doing skits and stuff and, uh, they 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 hide well, you know what I'm saying? But um that'll be coming pretty soon. But yeah, man, I appreciate you, man. And uh thank you everybody for being on the live with me. And um, you know, you know what we say? Subscribe, hit the bell on the side so you get notified on time. And like I always say, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, y'all. Be good, be blessed, you hear me? I'll be back at y'all soon. All right, later.